Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at a very, very small CPU color. This is the Reven Stereops. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever kind of built a mini ITX PC and kind of given in looking for a very small color, and say I've opted, say, for the stock Intel color, and then kind of realized that, that was a bad choice, and it doesn't perform very, very well with limited amount of airflow. Now, this color does boast, yeah, as I've said, six centimeters in height, so it will fit in there with any mini um, ITX PC. Um, five copper heat pipes and also a 120 millimeter fan which is half thickness. Now I'm going to be testing this against two Intel stock coolers, the standard one you get and also like a slimline one and also against the Arctic, uh, is it the, the Alpine 11 Pro Revision 2, there we are. So yeah, we're going to be testing this cooler and yeah, seeing how it performs. One thing we even do also say is that you do get 100% RAM compatibility so you know, all the clearances between RAM is going to be good. And it does also say that it is going to be very, very easy to install. So we'll kind of see how that is as well. So without further ado, let's kind of get into the video, kind of have a look at what you get in the box, then go over the installation and performance. To get started, as always, for a quick unboxing, inside the box we're presented with the cooler itself with its striking yellow fan. To the left we found the accessory box that contains all the needed parts for installation, including three sets of brackets, one for Intel, another for AMD, and the smaller set for AMD's AM1 platform. Other accessories include four small screws, four thumb screws, four washers, and a small sachet of Reven Zone thermal paste. Lastly, inside the box we have an instruction manual, which makes the cooler look very easy to install on all platforms it supports. On to a further look at the heatsink. The cooler's dimensions are 125 by 129 millimeters, with the height being a mere 60 millimeters, making this cooler very ideal for people wanting to install it in cases with very little clearance. The wood of the cooler is relatively light at 450 grams, with the fan attached. The cooler comes with five 6 millimeter copper heat pipes, which pass evenly through the heatsink, with three also looping through at the other side for even more cooling potential. The cooler features many aluminium fins that are quite tightly packed together. This may improve performance at higher RPMs, however, we'll have to see. On the bottom of the cooler, we found a somewhat reflective shiny base, and therefore will mean it'll be easy to remove thermal compound in the future. Above the base is a conventional square heatsink that should improve the overall cooling potential of the cooler. Onto the side of the cooler, it features an additional plate which displays Reven's logo as well as a few holes, a nice touch. Up top, as for the fan, we found a yellow slimline fan with half the standard thickness, coming in at 12mm thick. The RPM range is rated between 500 and 2000 RPM, with the noise levels being between 9.3 and 34 decibels. The cable is sleeved, a nice addition. Moving on to the installation of the cooler, overall it was a pleasant one, and to me, it's mainly easy due to the fact there isn't many steps to follow. Also a quick rundown, to get started I want to prep the cooler by tipping it upside down and screwing down the two clips for your motherboard socket with the four screws. As mentioned, there is three sets to choose from, of which two are for Intel platforms and the other Intel. Once you've done this, you can then apply the thermal compound provided, and then screw in the cooler from underneath your motherboard with the four thumb screws provided, making sure you use the four rubber washers. Although no back plate is supplied, this cooler is very light, and insulation, if anything, is more than simple, and I'm very pleased with the insulation overall. Do note that I used Arctic MX4 compound, as this will make my testing fair, as I've used this compound for the past three years. Finally onto the performance, testing this cooler on my i7-4790K with all cores locked at 4GHz with the automatic voltage set. The Reven Stirrups was able to keep the CPU running at a cool 60 degrees Celsius. This was while running my usual benchmark of rendering out the pretty intensive 2016 How to Build a Gaming PC Guide in Adobe Premiere CS6. Since this cooler is meant to be replacing an Intel stock cooler, I tested a standard copper slug Intel cooler and also a slimline Intel cooler in addition to an Arctic cooling Alpine 11 revision 2, of which I'll be reviewing soon on the channel. The temperature scores for all these coolers were 89, 78 and 72 degrees. Now I don't usually do sound tests for coolers, however I believe in this scenario it makes quite a bit of sense to do a sound test as stock coolers are incredibly loud. And now, take a listen. Overall, this cooler did a fantastic job at keeping the i7 4790K cool, despite its size, and does justify the cost when you take in consideration the small amount of noise this cooler does make. Anyhow, let's roll the outro and conclude on the Stereo CPU cooler from Reven. 
So guys, we've seen the performance of this cooler. For the size, as you can see, it is really, really small. The five copper heat pipes most definitely work because this cooler does really slap the ass of the Intel stock cooler. Regardless of, all of its yellow fan and the fact that it might not be the most attractive thing in the world, this is fantastic in terms of performance and also value for money. So yeah, ditch all your Intel stock coolers, buy these if you are, say, building a mini ITX PC, and I think you'd be very, very pleased. This has really blown me away in terms of what very small coolers can do, and also in terms of the sound as well. This is very, very quiet when you do compare the noise an Intel stock cooler makes, which, to be honest, isn't very quiet. Yeah, there we are. Usually I wouldn't kind of include kind of sound tests in my review CPU coolers, but I think in this case, um, yeah, this kind of review needed a sound test. There we are. Hello guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys are thinking of picking up, say, the Reven uh, stirrups, I will, you know, include links in the good old description. And, uh, yeah, in general, guys, thank you very much for watching, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.